So friends, uh, welcome back to our channel myself.help.in. Uh, in this uh, video, we will look about the SAP Dynamic Safety Stock Calculation. Uh, this is one of a nice feature in uh, SAP. Uh, this is available in uh, since ECC days, right? It is in ECC as for HANA Cloud everywhere it is there. Okay. So let me run through you what is a Dynamic Safety Stock means about. Okay. Uh, so it is one of the flexible methods okay so you know uh, there are two ways that you can maintain a safety stock in sap one is kind of uh, you put a static figure so irrespective of whatever the demand is whenever the quantity goes below that uh, the stock goes below that uh, it will get planned correct that is one of the thing there is one more thing called as a dynamic safety stock so what is a dynamic safety stock means uh, it is able to uh, you know if the demand is fluctuating the stock requirement can quantity can also be getting adjusted to that okay so that means you don't enter any static figure system itself uh, through the calculations it will calculate it okay primarily it is based on the two things one is based on the average daily requirements okay that is the prime thing that based on which it does and then for the, how much period you wanted to look uh, how much period you need to calculate this and for how much period you need to plan it like for in future three months five months six months etc uh, one of the prime calculation is the how you calculate the safety stock record so you would you will calculate the average daily requirement and then you will do that okay so it's based on that uh, that's so uh, and uh, only one configuration is required for this okay uh, the only configuration that is required for us on this is the range of coverage profile uh, uh, which is maintained in the MRP of the material master. Okay, so based on that only yeah, actually this happens. Uh, I sincerely feel that, uh, you know, many of the people are not using this because when you see the MRP data, you see there is a field called range of coverage profile, but then uh, people don't go and look into the detail. That is why many of them have not used that. But this is a very strong functionality. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, when I started working in the DD MRP, I saw the similar functionality, which is called as a average daily usage uh, here it is based on the requirement there it is based on the usage uh, but the, uh, i think uh, they have taken some of the things from this one only that's what i understood so let me show you some uh, how this works in the system so i will show you the configuration what is required for this uh, this can this configuration is there uh, let me see system is happening okay, just in case if you go to the in this period of production then go to the mrp then planning then mrp calculation here you will see the uh, range of coverage profile so let me just go to my profile here okay so you can see here this is the profile here so this is the range of coverage profile so if you go to the details this is what we configure and we maintain in the system so you can see here we have given the plant, we have given a coverage profile, we have given a period indicator. So this is very important, uh, whether you are going to calculate for a month or week, and what is the number of periods that you wanted to calculate, okay. So next one is determining the average requirements for how, based on how many periods, whether it has to consider the three months or four months or six months, okay, uh, the requirement period is what it, it mentions about. It doesn't consider the past, it will consider from the current date to the future. Uh, requirements okay and the type of period per month whether it is going to be calendar days or etc it's also defined okay and then in case if you maintain standard days then you have to put how many days per period also okay here we will see how many target days if it is five days or ten days stock that is important and for how many periods so for first period and the last period so this is all defined in this one okay so we have a possibility to define this configuration then i will just show you the 63 part what I have maintained okay uh, you can see here uh, I have maintained this okay I have maintained this uh, 100 100 etc for the periods I have maintained the PIR just to, to do this then you can go to the stock so I have already run the MRP so you, we can see here so this is how the system calculates it actually the requirement is 100 only then you can see the planned order is 125 because i will explain the calculation uh just hold on the simple terms if you see here uh, uh, so this is a period one two three so this is a par value that we have maintained 
and what is the number of days in the period is 20 so average daily requirement if you see 120 is a 5 and coverage period has been given 5 for 5 days of stock I need to keep it so what it is is average daily requirement into the target period so 25 so this is a simple calculation that we can be able to understand I will show that in SAP so here we can see that here also you have this quantities etc and uh, to make this simple and understand you go to this view and you go to month you can see here what is the PIR what is the uh, receipt is nothing but a planned quantity here there are few things okay what is the daily requirement system has calculated five quantities daily requirement and then target days of stock I need to keep five days of stock and then what is the target stock so I need to go for 25 quantities additionally that I need to keep it. same way uh, ninth so this I'm doing it for September October number three periods okay so we can see here uh, it's there for future periods and all it has put 10 days right so which means 10 into 5 so it is expecting to keep 50 quantities of stock so this is how system calculates and it tries to keep more stock okay and you can see in the final it is also diminishing because at the final end also it will try to manage it okay um, since there are no period then it will try to uh, diminish the stocks also the required quantity so this is a very uh, nice functionality uh, i have just given you basics fundamentals for us to understand okay but then uh, you can go in deep and try to understand it over here thanks for watching this if you have any comments anything on this uh, do share it across to me okay thank you very much